Hello everybody, this is Little in Hawaii. It's a rainy day in paradise. And we had a, quite a large earthquake yesterday. Didn't affect me too much, but it was mostly centered around the volcanoes that are on the big island. Anyway, a good day to stay indoors and do some stitchery. And the thing I'm going to show you today is some of the little boxes I make and cover. I've been doing these for years. I take old boxes, in this case, I bought some um, Valentine boxes. These were meant for children, and they really only held four candies. So I bought some of those around Valentine's Day when they were on sale, and came home, took off all the paper bits, they were bright reds and so forth, and then gave them a good spray inside and out with copper spray. Now spraying them with a spray paint it's very good because, first of all, it covers up everything, but it strengthens the boxes because really they're not that strong when you first get them. The next thing I do is I cover the bottom, put some um, scrapbook paper, I think that is, and inside the lid. So those two parts get covered with the paper. The outsides of the box or the outside lid gets covered with some batting and also inside the bottom of the box you can't see it because I've covered it already with silk is batting. Now two things about these boxes they have to have the type of lid that sits down over the top and will go close down because you can't cope with them unless they do that they don't work out and a lot of the boxes are not this shape, so you often usually have to dig. So I dug and found a few of those. Then I don't put too much padding in the bottom of the boxes because they're not very deep as you can see. And if you do put too much in there, well then there's no room for anything else. So that's one that I've started and I'll show you one I've completed. Now the way this is going to go is be like that. And then on top of it, I'm going to add some crazy quilting that I'm doing. Now, this has just started, haven't finished this, but I left it like that so you could see exactly what, how I do. First of all, I just use any fabric. In this case, it's kind of a calico print. Just some nice cotton. Cotton's best to push the needle through. Then it has the pieces put on there. And crazy quilt style. You start in the middle and then you build up around the edge clockwise fashion. You probably know how to do that so that adds all the pieces and I mix in silky trims and velvet, piece of ruffled velvet, piece of sequin velvet, some plaid and in the middle I put an image of a woman and just to hasten things up so it doesn't take me so long I did so on a couple of the trims here in the sewing machine and I ran along a, um, I call it one of my embroidery stitches on the machine this looks like little birds feet and this looks like little sunrises and I just ran it in black thread just along just so I've got to start because I'm going to be adding quite a bit of beading and embroidery so that's that one now this one I finished same thing, really. The bottom is covered with scrapbook paper, and then the inside lid is covered with scrapbook paper. Again, it has silk inside with some padding, and the velvet, some of this velvet, to hide the edge around there. Um, I could put anything in here for a gift. But in this case, it's one of my CD technique. Um, it can be a brooch, but in this case, it's going to be a pendant. So I've put a bail on this so that I can thread some chain or ribbon through. And if you do want to see how to make these CD um, pendants and brooches and whatever, you can look on my website, justvillard.com or .blogspot.com. And it's quite a, a, maybe three, four years back, I did do a tutorial on how to do these.
they're fun to do. Okay, so that's the inside completed. Looks good. And then the top. Now the top, same thing as the other one. I crazy quilted the piece and I did a few extra bits on this. I've done crazy quilt stitches on the seams. There's velvet. This is a pattern velvet. This is a hand dyed velvet. And this is some hand dyed lace. It's, the colors are sort of gray, um, purple mauve, maybe slight greenish tinge. And I try and use fine fabrics like silks and velvets and things like that. And the image in the center has a frame around it that's kind of a neat technique. If you do hand embroidery, I did chain stitch all the way around with a thick thread first, and then I whipped the chain stitch with a variegated thread all the way around with the same dimension thread, but just whipped it. And it gives a corded frame sort of thing. Then I added some beads to the image just to jazz it up a little bit. Along this pleated trim, I did French knots. I call them funky French, French knots because I let them be sort of loopy. <laughs> and here are, on this side are regular um, crazy quilt stitches. There's some more beading here. On the velvet here, because it was just plain, because I can't leave anything plain, I did stem stitch sort of twigs and then I beaded um, sort of flowers or berries something like that, just to fix that up a bit and make it look pretty. And then, once it was stretched over the top of the cardboard, like this, you take it over, you don't leave very much, maybe a half to a centimeter, glue that all around on the side, like that, glue it all around, and then cover that with some sort of trim, either gimp or in this case, velvet. Didn't seem to have any gimp that went with that. Here in the islands, it's very difficult to find supplies. So, that's it. Anyway, I thought you might like to see how I go about altering these. You may still be able to find some of these hard boxes from Valentine's. Um, I find the drugstore is quite a good place to go. And if they have any left over, they usually put them on sale at this time of year. So. Why don't you pick some up if you can? Play with them. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.